Makeshift showers are the only escape from the sweltering heat for these children living in a refugee camp in Akar in northern Lebanon. Temperatures here have reached 42 degrees Celsius in recent days. The heat has been brutal. We have no electricity, no fans. That's why we came up with this idea of getting plastic bags, filling them with water and have them sprinkle the water on the kids so they can cool off and have fun. But at this camp, like many others back home in Syria, there's not enough water. It's partly because of reduced support from donor organizations. We don't even get water on a daily basis. It comes and goes. We store the water when it comes once or twice weekly, and we manage the best we can. We want to leave this camp, but we don't know where to go. The heat is killing us. The 12-year civil war has displaced 4.5 million people. Around 250,000 are in Akar. Now soaring temperatures are making conditions even tougher. We hope they find a solution for us. We need electricity, water on a regular basis, not once a week. We are struggling. The water tank is almost empty, but we are recycling this water for the kids. The children can do this twice a day in the afternoon and evening. Their parents say it helps prevent cases of heat stroke and exhaustion, but with more hot weather forecast, they say they desperately need additional supplies of water. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.